Well, Friday has always been a special night for me because that's when I line up for my weekly dose of humour from two of Australia's most talented satirists, John Clark and Brian Dore. So now let's join the men who can make grown politicians weep with their only slightly skewed perspective on life. Thank you very much. Now, what we're going to show you is obviously a collection of things which have gone to air over the last few years. I have to say this is a complete subterfuge and what you're about to see has got precisely nothing whatever to do with Brian and myself. We're going to show you an open-hearted tribute to Yana. Who's been one of the great figures in current affairs broadcasting in this country and uh, it's been great to be associated with her. It has indeed. She's mm. been a particular pal of ours and mm. we've, uh, we're have we going to miss her a great deal. She's going to hate this job. She's not going to like this at all. Mm. I bet you she doesn't know this is going to happen. And mm. furthermore, I'll bet you any money you like, if she did know, she'd be totally opposed to it. She's not mm. the sort of person who'd like a tribute to go. I wouldn't have thought so. It's the producer's idea anyway. It's the what? Producer's idea. Producer's idea? Yeah. I thought that's what you said. Yeah, well, uh, I know his name. We can fix him after, if you like. He can't be the bloke I was talking to if he had an idea. Well, I was Producer. talking... Producer? Yeah, I was talking Which? to... Which? That bloke? Mm. I was talking to this guy. I thought he was in charge. Oh, no, yeah. Who told you that guy was in charge? This guy. Really? This Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Oh, no. Yeah, well, she'll still be on television anyway. Still be on television? Yeah. No, she's going off television. She's yeah, not going to be that. on television. No, but she she's still going to be on... The entire point of this is that she's going off television. Yeah, sure, One of the most famous yeah. departures in the history of the medium. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but she's going to come back and do specials, right? Oh, she's going to be on television? Yeah. Even though she's going off, off television. television? Which is a hard act to follow, They said really. it couldn't be done. Mm. Maybe she just wants a break. I think she needs a break, don't you, after all these people? She's I'd want a break if I'd been talking to these clowns, these very yeah, valuable very public citizens over the last five years. Have a look at this. It'll drain the blood completely from the face. Yana, you know very well that you are, you've got your foot on the sticky paper. You're trying to make the most of it, to make your sort of reputation and name and get people to look at it. But then I wouldn't expect anything else from you, Yana, by your record, as I've seen it recently. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, you work it out for yourself. <laughs> I think it's for holiday. Well, I do. Yeah, I mean, I'm the time to use games, the, Well, I'm not. No, well, I'm not. You're playing the games. I'm not playing with people's lives. You're playing games with words, if you don't mind me saying so. Mrs. Hancock, uh, you've been called you many... You can press me further, Yana. I'm sorry. The Queensland Police Force is not corrupt. Never took a cent. Not a cent. Where you paid, personally intervened and paid out $400,000 to Sir Joe Bielke peterson Were you trying to exert influence there? Uh, it was a million they were asking. We got it down to 400000 Are you confident in your capacity to uh, retain the leadership? I'm about to go out and have a very nice dinner and a good red. Yeah, I know how he feels. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Good evening, Mr. Casey. If you, if you are going to take me out of context, what's the point of me sitting here trying to have a rational debate? Mr. Casey, did you say those words? You are victimising me. You're victimising me. Well, why don't you read it out so the public let's, can hear Let's it. establish what, what point we're making, Mr. Packer. You, are, you call it the big lie. Mr. Finch, do you stand by your confession? I do. You have confessed to firebombing yeah. the Whiskey A Go Go nightclub 15 years ago. Right or wrong? Well, I, I can't remember saying this. Just a moment. One moment. I, I've... I, you know, I, I don't know what's, what's happened to me. I haven't been very well. Were you or were you not involved in the Whiskey A Go Go firebombing? No. It's an outrage. It's a massacre in Beijing. We meet here to show our Wouldn't it also be logical to conclude that your own display of emotion on this was just, in fact, a display, if this is your attitude now? That is a despicable and contemptible observation, and I, ref I find your observation repugnant in the extreme. You're a little devil, you are. And I'm sorry if you're upset about the questions, but it seems to me that I'm not doing my job if I have an opportunity you, to speak you to Sir Brown. gone out of your way to ask the questions I told you not to ask. You get stresses and strains in these relationships. If I went under a bus, then I'm gone, and I think Paul Keating would make an admirable Prime Minister. When are you going to be Prime Minister? 
when, when Bob's good and ready to call it quits. They say that you get by on good looks and good connections. The fact that I have to even answer these questions is not terribly uh, enjoyable, but I'm a public servant. You'll be interviewing me and Dan Quayle for the rest of your life. I can see it hitting you right now. I can see it. And now it's again. It's hitting you again and again. This is interviewer hell. You really are a sex symbol, aren't you? <laughs> I'd rather be crutching sheep, quite frankly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mel. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> you do have the most beautiful eyes. Listen, if you ever decide to get into any uh, interspecies dating, I'm here. And 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 I and, and you're very attractive for a human being. I'd love to meet you someday. <laughs> Have you got time? Because I would like to introduce my husband to you. Oh, I don't think I could say no to that, Nicole. A great guy. Here he is. This, this is uh, this is a rare treat. How are you enjoying married life? Fantastic. Uh, references to your eyes, your stomach muscles, your legs, your clothes, <laughs> your moods. How much is left? I mean, I That's who know. I am, yes. Jeff Kennett. So I realize Not that interested Mr. in what's intelligent, buddy boy. I'm going to be Jeff Kennett. Oh, dear me. Oh, I have to recover from this. Alan Bond. Alan Bond. I've never heard of him. Yes, the Oh, dear, I'm not going to survive another year with John Clark and Brian Doyle. Listen, I've never had a guest who doesn't want to go home. <laughs> Yana, I know how relentless your job becomes as the years pass, but you've always maintained your great style and character. Neither British nor American television has produced a talent to match you. Enjoy your break. Yana, just in case you've forgotten what you look like, here you are. And we'd like to, uh, on behalf of all of us here in dear old England, we'd like to wish you a marvellous retirement and uh, wish you all the best in the future. Good luck, mate. So long. Does it ever make you wonder what's on my mind? Is it possible to see my father's file? I never cried. Perhaps the greatest gift that the new president and the new government have given Czechs is the right to say exactly what they believe. He's a loner devoted to raising money for a group of people who need it most. I think he's our friend. She'll probably odd in her favour, I think. Oh, you know, I just think she's got it and uh, just make me work harder. If you'd like to help, this is very hard to say, contact the Children's Hospital in your state. Yana went in a relatively short time, has indeed become a legend in uh, current affairs in Australia. Hey, not a cloud in sight. I thank her for a contribution and I wish her well in whatever she does in the future. Mr. Packer, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you very much indeed, Yana. Yana, you're shipping out. We'll miss you. Good luck with everything you do. Fingers crossed. Bye. Oh dear, they've done it to me, haven't they? I've been sprung. Uh, they've colluded with John Clark and Brian Dorr and all the rest of my wonderful colleagues at A Current Affair. I was going to say that's it for A Current Affair 1992, but I certainly can't finish without thanking all of my great colleagues and friends at ACA for their work and their support over the last uh, five years. All of my great friends here in the studio who've looked after me for all this time. Nor can I say goodbye without thanking you for your loyalty. You quite literally gave us life. So with that, enjoy your Christmas and I'm sure you will join Mike Willisey and Mike Munro for A Current Affair in 1993. Good night. <laughs>